Hey, what's up guys? It's Ryan with Tweak My Device. So you got a new Motorola smartphone or tablet and you want to transfer files between it and your PC. You can transfer all kind of different files. You can do documents, notes, pictures, videos, music, all kinds of things. So you're going to need the appropriate drivers for your Motorola device. Typically, the first time you plug in your new device by USB cable, you'll get an auto install of the drivers. This little box has popped up from down here in the system tray. And you see it's just installed the USB drivers, the Android interface, which we call ADB, and everything is green and checked and good to go. And once those drivers are installed, you can go into my computer and you can browse what's on your storage card. You can also right click on computer, go to properties, and in the top left select device manager. Here if you look down at portable devices, you'll see that it has it mounted as USB storage so that you can access your storage card. Now as you choose different modes, for USB connection, you'll have additional drivers that are installed. And this will change. Right now there's an error beside that. And I get a message that the device driver install has failed. So what happens if you have a problem like this? You can install the drivers manually. For Motorola devices, check the link under this video and here are the drivers you want 5.2.0 with Moto Helper. Basically, just click that, save it, and I'm going to click and drag that onto my desktop. Right click that and run as administrator. I'm on Windows 7 Ultimate, 64 bit. This auto installer will take care of both 32 and 64 bit systems. So just head on through the automated install and then we'll get another message that we are installing drivers and we had trouble with the NTP interface last time so we got all checks there can close that and you have this that pops up for the NTP interface uh, and it's in PC mode so great that solved the problem Check the description under this video for links to different versions of the Motorola drivers, just in case these 5.2.0 ones do not work for you. But I'll leave the link for that official Motorola driver page, so when they update the driver packages in the future, you can refer there for the newest ones. Now that your drivers are installed, check our next video to see how to connect for USB storage and transfer files back and forth from your device to your PC. Thanks for watching guys and subscribe to Tweak My Device on YouTube.